Okay, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the inverse of exponential and logarithmic functions. Now, the first thing that we have to note is that the inverse of an exponential function is a logarithmic function, and the inverse of logarithmic function is an exponential function. So whenever we change an exponential function, so from expo, the inverse is a log, but when you start with a log, the inverse is an exponential function. Now, keep in mind that finding inverse of exponential or log is just the same as finding the inverse of other functions such as linear, uh, rational functions. The approach is basically the same or the steps are basically the same. Okay, so let's show one example. Suppose you are given, let's say, a uh, function f of x is equal to 2 raised to x plus 1, and you want to find the inverse of this. The inverse notation is f. It's like an exponent, negative 1, but it's not an exponent. So this symbol, this is how we are going to write the inverse later on. Okay, but what are the steps? Okay, the first thing that you have to do is to replace f of x by y temporarily. The reason behind that is so that you will not be confused with this x and the x of the exponential expression. So when you rename f of x as y, then it gives you just this single x in the expression. So you have 2 raised to x plus 1. Okay. So immediately after that, you need to interchange the y and the x. Just as finding the inverse of linear or rational functions, the first step is to interchange x and y. y becomes x and x becomes y. Okay. So... Now, once you interchange the x and y, if there are no other numbers, like there, if there's no plus or minus any number, what you can do now is to get the, or to express this in terms of its logarithmic form. And we know how to convert an exponential expression to its logarithmic form. That is, it becomes log with a base 2, of the x is equal to the exponent y plus 1. By doing that, you will immediately get the inverse of the function. Just one final step, because this is our goal, the y. So you have to subtract 1 on both sides, or you can do a transposition. Log base 2 of this x minus the 1 is equal to y. This y that we have right now is the inverse of the given exponential expression. So that's how easy you can find the inverse of, a, of an exponential expression. Okay, The key is you convert immediately the exponential expression to its logarithmic form. Once you do that, you can apply some additional steps if needed and you can already find the inverse. Okay. Now earlier, I was mentioning, um, provided that there are no plus or minus a value. Now suppose we just change the expression a bit. So earlier, we have f of x is equal to 2 raised to x plus 1. Now let's make it, say, f of x, is equal to 2 raised to x plus 1 and you have say minus 3 so how do you find the inverse so again we replace f of x by y we have 2 to the x plus 1 minus the 3 then we interchange the x and the y you have 2 plus uh, 2 raised to y plus 1 minus 3 now keep in mind that before you change to this to a logarithmic expression you have to do something with the minus 3 
and what you can do with that is just simply add three on both sides so that you can isolate the exponential expression to, to the y plus one and once you have done that you can now express this in its logarithmic form log base 2 of the x plus 3 this thing here is equal to y plus 1 and finally get the y by writing this as x plus 3 with a minus 1 equals y so y which is the inverse is equal to log base 2 of x plus 3 minus 1 okay so this just a very small difference if you have a number being added or subtracted make sure that before you change it into uh, its logarithmic form you have to isolate the exponential expression okay which what we can see in this step okay so again when we look for the inverse of an exponential function all we have to do is to express it into a logarithmic equation or expression okay so let's take one example for a log suppose this time we have f of x is equal to log base 3 of x plus 4 so same steps rename this as y you have log base 3 of x plus 4 and then interchange y and x x becomes y y becomes x and then earlier we changed from exponential to logarithmic this time we change from logarithmic to exponential so we have 3 raised to x the base 3 raised to this x is equal to y plus 4 and then you have see th this is our goal so just subtract 4 on both sides so that you can have a y so it's minus 4 minus 4 then you get this and finally that's our inverse so y is equal to 3 to the x minus 4 is f inverse which is 3 to the x minus 4 see the same idea was applied except that this time we have to make it from logarithmic e equation to an exponential equation okay so I hope you understand or know now how to find the inverse of an exponential expression or function rather and a logarithmic function okay that's it